What's an appraisal? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. And today we're talking about what is an appraisal. So Jason, tell me, what exactly is an appraisal? Well, it's a it's a it's basically a way that the lender certify the value. Okay. When you send over a purchase and sale agreement to us, it's gonna show the value that everyone's agreed upon, but we wanna make sure we can certify that value with having an independent third party appraiser go out and do a market analysis and basically see what the shape of the property is and what the market value is. So it's not you, it's an independent third party appraisal. We right. order it, but it comes to a third party. Okay, and who's paying for it? The, well, we pay for it upfront essentially, but we collect it from the consumer. Okay, so mm -hmm. why do banks require these appraisals? Why are they so important? Because these can be big hiccups in our deal. Well, it's, it's, I mean, besides getting the credit approval and the underwriting approval kind of early on, and most likely we like to do that during the pre approval process, right. we have that kind of already ready to go. The appraisal is the biggest hurdle overcoming it because, again, it certifies the value. If you come back with a purchase and sale that says at 500000 and the appraisal doesn't come in and around that number, then we may have a problem, right? Or for good or for bad. So we need to certify that. And of course, the bank could be lending upwards of 80, 90, 50, 60% of that market value to the consumer. We want to make sure that the value is there. So, layman's terms, pre approval, because I'm a layman, right? So, yes. layman's terms, pre approval, uh, that's qualifying me as the buyer. Right, that's yes. hey, we're comfortable Just with on the credit you. side, a, a, the, on the credit, credit side, yep. right? Yep. And then the actual appraisals, hey, we're qualifying the asset. Sure. And then we put them all together. And the that's collateral, as we like to call it, right. right? I mean, that's the house. That's what we're securing the mortgage to. Right. Yes, I'm saying, Jeff, you're going to pay that money back, but I'm tying this mortgage to that, to that legal house. structure, that legal entity, which is obviously the mortgage and the deed. And which the bank needs to know is of value. Of so, course. Um, what do appraisers look at? Condition? One, not okay. so much. I don't want to get crazy on the condition because, again, we could talk about for an hour on the home inspection side. That's right. a real deep dive in the condition. Overall Which, condition. Which, by the way, you guys don't look at. But anyway. True. Not, obviously with the consumer, but but true. But but the banks look at more about market, true market value. What is it worth? What's it worth today? Mm -hmm. And more impo and most importantly, what is it worth in the surrounding area? Right. right. That's why we look for a one mile to two mile radius and the most recent sales. If I have a three bedroom ranch, I want to look at other three bedroom ranches right. in the area and see what they've sold for. And we put more weight on the s sales that have happened in the last six months. Okay. I was going to say, so recent sales. So six months. Of course. Right. We're not looking at something that's 12 months old. Right? Very rarely. We do do that, but the, the appraiser will make a note of that and why right. they use that. Maybe they couldn't find a particular comp. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, all right. So that's what appraisal looks at. So what what's the difference between that appraisal and then the true market value. I should say, is there sometimes a difference between them? Well, sure, of course. I mean, okay. obviously the appraiser, is, is his job is not to take that purchase and sale right. and bring it right into the number because okay. obviously they wouldn't be doing their job, right? They, they wouldn't want be an independent third party. An independent third party, right? Their job is to bring in what they think that market of sales approach is right now. And again, it's based on all the data that we just talked about, the comps and the radius and things like that, and right. obviously condition. Um, but yeah, of course, I mean, many, I shouldn't say many times, but times it can come in and the PNS is 500 and the appraiser brings it in at 480. Right. So they're going to bring it at their best of their ability at that market value. And I, 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 think it, I, I think the answer to answer my own question here is sometimes, you know, appraisals, they're looking at past comps, comps that have sold, right? True, true. Versus especially in hot markets, the market is fast appreciating and yeah. a sale comp from three months ago does not dictate of what the current market value is of a property. Right. I, I think that's a lot of times right. when we have some run in with a pre it's not their fault. I mean, they, no. they have to go by what is sold. Well, we like to say that the comps haven't caught up, right? right. I mean, someone exactly. kind of has to be the first one to pay X amount in that neighborhood, right? right? And then that sales close and now that's a comp and then boom, 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 boom. So, you, exactly. so that's, that's the issue. So sometimes it's not a value thing and the clients, so hopefully and with a good realtor, obviously, like yourself, will understand that they're not actually overpaying because the appraisal came in a little bit low. They're okay. just the first one there. Right. Right? I mean, so we went under agreement on the property. Okay. When exactly does this appraisal happen? We like to get it going early and obviously, especially in it, if it's a busy market, it takes a little bit, but we, once the purchase and sale sign, because mm -hmm. obviously many things can change with the home inspection yep. and final negotiations on a Purchase sale is when it's rock solid. That's right. when it's rock solid, it's ready to go. So we order it then and it usually takes about uh, 10 days to two weeks to come back. Which by the way is thank you to the, to the buyer because otherwise you're spending their money if it hasn't of course. officially gone Of course, we want to protect right. them and make sure so, that we have it and someone has to pay for that. So all right, so we order the appraisal after uh, the purchase and sale agreement is signed. How long does it take for us to get back? It de Again, depending on the time frame and how busy the appraisers are, but it usually takes about two weeks, I like to say. Sometimes we get it back in seven days, but I usually use like a 10 day to 14 day window. Okay, yep. now will sometimes appraisers be more busy and we can have appraisal delays? Of course, okay. of course, depending on the market. Should I be worried if there's an appraisal delay? 
No, no, not necessarily. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Sometimes it's just overall volume or sometimes they're trying to find those comps and actually it's a good thing, right? right? It means the appraiser is spending their time and trying to do the research the right way. They're not just pulling stuff off the internet. They're actually driving around, taking photos, pulling the data from the MLS and seeing what those sales close. And they're actually sometimes, as you know, you'll get calls too. They'll call on the realtors in, in other right. markets and try to get that data that they need to perform that task. Right. You sold house at one, two, three, Main yep. Street. Tell me about tell it. Me a bit yeah, now. exactly. You know, yeah. We get the, and as professionals, we're always happy it's to a good answer thing. that sure. because we know someday that's going to be It's going to be on the, on the other side. side. Karma's a exactly. so-and-so. Yeah. So be, sh be sure to look out and take a look at what are your options when these appraisals actually come in below the agreed upon value. And then we have another video about what are your options and what happens when an appraisal comes in above that agreed upon value. And uh, don't forget, stick around for what we're going to do with $1,000 when we hit 1,000 subscribers. But I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Homes team. Jason? Uh, Jason Monarigo, RMS Mortgage in Boston, 617-413-5038. And you can get us at 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. So when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give $1,000 away to the ASPCA. So make sure that you click that, uh, that subscribe button below uh, so that way we can ultimately save some puppies. <laughs> Look forward to chatting with you soon.